exercise, stress relief, eating well, and supplementation to help. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition with Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome to the show. And welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Thanks for tuning in today, stopping by, spending some time with us. We uh, love spending time with you. Hope you're having a good day, wherever and however you may be listening or watching the show, and whatever you may be doing. Well, uh, it's just <clears throat> every day you come in here and uh, there's so much to report, and you only have so much, con uh, so much container for all the content, right? but we try to figure out um, what's going on. I know that uh, in the news, what's been trending a lot is this uh, issue of vaping. And uh, we have more than a few people now, many of whom are young people, showing up in emergency rooms, hospitals, and even in some instances, their life is put in danger because of vaping, and it's been puzzling. You know, they're, they're, they, many are getting what's called chemical pneumonia. <clears throat> it's been a puzzle as to why this is going on. I know that uh, they're trying to figure it out, and I there's a story trending. I'll see if I can get it before I say any more about it, and maybe I'll have some insight uh, to report, um, insight of, that others are having about what's causing all of this. It, it, it's a sort of an irony that these e-cigarettes, I presume, were invented to replace smoking because smoking was so dangerous. Well, it turns out that the vaping may be more pernicious than the smoking. A and cigarette's much less likely to blow up in your face. That's right, and I reported on on at least that's right, Katie. On two occasions now, I've re at least two, maybe three, I reported about that the device blowing up and causing disfigurement, uh, someone's face. I mean, I've that, seen them like blow. Well, I haven't physically seen it, but I've seen stories where they blow up in people's pockets, blow up in their hands, blow up in their face. So I mean, they. Oh my gosh, they're like Samsung phones. Like I can't believe. It. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it's it's crazy. Uh, never mind. The, the vapors from the vaping. Right. And it's, it's been a mystery. The doctors are, you know, trying to figure out what's going on here. And then yesterday I was talking with Katie on air about, that's, it occurred to me, I said, wait a minute. Is it possible that some people who never smoked would ever smoke but wanted to smoke, perhaps, and said, you know what, I'll vape because... It's safe. My best friend is one of those people. There you go. Yep. Just does it. I won't get smoke. I won't get cancer if I if I vape. Well, they don't know that either. So, but y y before you get the cancer, you could still die. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm just saying. We had this conversation yesterday, so I went and had a conversation with her after when I when I really noticed it yesterday was kind of like my realization that she actually does this. So I said to her, I was like, why did you start this? And she said, I just do spend a lot of time in my car. And I was like, so that's your reasoning because you spend a lot of Turn time on the radio, car? eat a lifesaver. Right. That was my advice to her. Get a pack of lifesavers. Like find some, find another way Chew to bubble gum, do some podcast. <laughs> Listen to let's talk nutrition. There you podcast. go. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. There you go. Not only is it something to do, it will turn you away from vaping because of the things we say about it. Maybe we can create enough cognitive dissonance yeah. that you will say, uh-oh, I shouldn't be doing this. Well, tell your friend, whatever her name is, tell her that, say, Dr. Garko implores you to stop because you're putting your health at risk. He doesn't know you, but he cares about you because you're my friend. I will. <laughs> tell her. How old is she? She is 25. She got a good lecture from me yesterday. Oh. Well, be careful. Have you ever seen Katie actually like lecture somebody? Be like, it's tough. I'm persuasive. <laughs> yeah, no, like it's it's not a game. It oh. is not a game. Oh my. <laughs> I'm I've, I've heard about it or like watched it probably, 
I don't want to be part of that. Like, I don't ever want to be on the receiving end of that. Well, my mother used to say, still waters run very deep, so I... <laughs> <laughs> no, but Katie's so nice to where, like, when she does, like, say something and it's, like, serious, you're like, oh, my gosh, like, why is... Like, why is what did I do to upset her? <laughs> well, I've had my moments, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, you, We always invite you to um, call the show, message us, email us. You can even come by the studio. You're invited in here anytime you want. Just let me know. Love when people do that. Yeah, we've had a few now come by. Last gentleman rode his scooter about an hour. Poor, honestly, <laughs> honestly. I mean, he did. And was so, such a sincere, good person. You know, those things count uh, at the end of the day. The things that people do and their gestures toward one another and how we treat one another and how we talk to one another. God, it's so acrimonious and so, so stressful. It's dreadful. I hate it. I don't like it. I know it's reality. I know it's life. I get it. But I just find this moment in time to be more acrimonious and more confrontational than ever before. And I don't know why we let politics... And it's the politics that's driving a lot of this. You know, it's not because people are fighting over uh, the lines in the um, produce section in the um, grocery store. They're not lining up for that. But nevertheless, Katie can tell you all the ways in which you can connect and make contact. You can give us a call at 877-897-8255. That's 877-897-TALK. You can also email Dr. Garco if you have a question or a comment at drgarco at letstalknutrition.com. And if you visit Let's Talk Nutrition, we've got all of our past episodes on there. They're sorted by date and title, so whatever you want to hear us talk about, it's on there. And we are also live right now. Our video is streaming. If you go to youtube.com and search Let's Talk Nutrition, you'll see us pop up, and we're live. We're live every day. So if you hit subscribe, you'll get a notification every time we go live. We have over 70,000 views now. Hmm. It's amazing. It is. I'm uh, at the CNN website, and I'm looking at a link. This young man, they have a video of him. It's disturbing. He's in the hospital. He's lying in the bed. And he begins to convulse. He's just a kid. You, can, you might find it. It's, it's CNN. And the story is, and Dr. Sanjay Gupta, whom I have a lot of respect for, uh, was reporting on this, that there is an investigation into the link between vaping and, as I told you, severe lung diseases and illnesses or illnesses. And what they have found out, they have found Extraordinary high levels, you ready? Can't make this up. Of the compound, the chemical, vitamin E acetate in nearly all cannabis containing vaping products. Um, this is according to New York health officials. This was, re this was uh, reported yesterday. Laboratory tests conducted at the New York Department of Health Wadsworth Center in Albany showed, quote, very high levels, close quote, their words, of vitamin E acetate in the can can uh, cannabis-containing uh, samples. Vitamin E acetate is, quote, a key focus, close quote, of the department's investigation into this vaping-related, the vaping-related illnesses. Some of the products that have been found to contain vitamin E acetate are the ones that are candy-flavored vapes. They have Mott's applesauce. What? What? Oh, an, apple, <laughs> an applesauce flavored. What is going on? How specific, first of all? Uh, they have all these different, I don't know if it's Mott's, but it's applesauce. Uh, it's funny how you connect the brand with the, with the item, <laughs> like Kleenex. Right. Kleenex yeah. is a brand. It's not a People thing. say Kleenex, not tissue. Right. Mm -hmm. They're doing everything they can to make the product more appealing to young people. Come back. I'm going to report some more. Vitamin E. And here you thought, and I thought perhaps it was something more pernicious. It wasn't.
Ladies and gentlemen, listen up. It's me, your immune system. I'm always hard at work defending you against the many disease-causing viruses and bacteria that you are exposed to every day. But sometimes I need help to defeat the bad bugs. Luckily, our friends at Kyolic have come to the rescue. Kyolic has two super immune-enhancing supplements, Kyolic Immune Formula 103 and Kyo Green Harvest Blend Immune Defense. Kyo Green Harvest Blend is a power-packed blend of organic and naturally sourced grass ancient grains, fruits, veggies, herbal extracts, and spirulina in a fast dissolving drink mix for a quick and easy way to support immunity. Kyolic Immune Formula 103 combines immune boosting nutrients with aged garlic extract. Aged garlic extract has been clinically shown to support a healthy immune response and reduce both the duration and severity of cold and flu symptoms. Help me protect you with Kyolic supplements and nutritional drink mixes to fortify your immune health today. Available at fine natural health retailers. The science of psychology tells us there is a connection between looking more attractive and having more self-confidence. One way to look more attractive is to have healthy looking hair. Ridgecrest Herbal's award-winning Hair Revive can support healthy, attractive hair. Hair Revive is formulated with a stress-fighting complex, hair growth ingredients, a hormone balancing complex, and Chinese herbs. Taken together, the ingredients in Hair Revive promote hair growth, encourage healthier, thicker looking hair, and support recovery from damaging hairstyling techniques, harsh chemicals, and daily stress. So start looking more attractive with healthier, thicker, and shinier hair with Ridgecrest Herbals Hair Revive. Visit rcherbals.com for more information or call 1-800-242-4649 and mention this ad. That's 1-800-242-4649. This is Dr. Michael Garka, host of the nationally syndicated health talk show, Let's Talk Nutrition. Way too often, dietary supplements cost way too much. Not so at Vitamin Discount Center. Here's why. BDC sells leading national brands up to 50% off MSRP every day. Competitors' prices are matched for identical products with proof of price. If you're in the military or are a first responder, you get an additional 10% off BDC's already discounted prices. BDC even offers case discounts. And you can get connected with BDC's VIP mobile text program for additional savings and customer rewards throughout the month. The choice is clear. You can save at Vitamin Discount Center. For a store nearest you, visit vitamindisccountcenter.com or call 813-907-7066. That's 813-907-7066. Vitamin Discount Center. For life, for less. Want to get at the core issues that make weight loss so difficult? Try PGX from Natural Factors. This revolutionary product is clinically shown to help people achieve their ideal body weight in a safe, natural way. PGX helps you feel full for hours, dramatically reduces the glycemic index of any food or meal, and ultimately causes the release of the compounds that achieve two important goals in weight loss. One, telling your brain that you're satisfied so you eat less, and two, improving the action of the hormone insulin. As medical doctor Mark Hyman said in his best-selling book, Eat Fat, Get Thin, if you choose to use only one supplement, PGX is the most important. If you've ever tried to lose weight and failed, you need the tremendous support of PGX from Natural Factors. For more information on making your weight loss dream a near effortless reality, visit pgx.com. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by American Biotech Labs, your daily immune system support. Ridgecrest Herbals, take your health to a higher elevation. Ancient Nutrition, nutrition for a modern world. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. North American Herb and Spice, wellness for life. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. And welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we appreciate you and uh, your support of the show. It's a big platform. I was looking. Uh, we have a company that uploads the show onto those platforms that Katie tells you about where you can watch the show, YouTube, 
and our and our Facebook page and and our and our website. We're trying to get it on our Facebook page to stream live. We're working on that. And I was looking at the numbers, and there are thousands of people that watch this show every day. It's amazing. Thanks to you. Uh, I'm reporting on <clears throat> a, a new insight into this vaping business. The State Department of Health uh, in New York said they're, they're investigating a possible cause of a recent surge in severe vaping-related illnesses. This is according to the New York Times, and it, it's a compound that you're familiar with. It's a, <laughs> and you're familiar with it because it usually appears in a supplement, a vitamin E acetate, vitamin E of all things. State Department of Health uh, yesterday in New York as I told you, said that there were, quote, very high levels, uh, close quote, of vitamin E found in 13 samples from eight of the 34 patients who have become ill, in some cases seriously ill, in New, just in New York. Uh, the, they said uh, that, in the, and again, I'm, I'll give Matt Ritchell of the New York Times attribution here, was his reporting, uh, that by no means this ends the search for what's causing these, these illnesses. Um, particularly, it says in the article, given that vitamin E acetate has not been confirmed as a factor in the majority of cases in which patients have become ill. And I'm just talking about in New York. This is a nationwide problem. Uh, according to Dr. Dr. Howard Zucker, of, of the New York State Health, he's the New York State Health Commissioner, said that, quote, that's the best theory or hypothesis we have right now. We haven't ruled out there isn't something else in the vaping material, close quote. Let me understand this. They, they have a product on the market. It ha now, I don't know if all the different brands are, there are probably variations on the theme and whatever compounds they're putting into their products, I'm sure there's some common products. I mean, there can't be a whole lot of them, I don't think. I haven't looked at one of those products in the, in the facts panel, but they should be able to track this down. I mean, I think so, a little bit quicker than maybe they are, I don't know. Uh, no one substance, <clears throat> Dr. Sucker said, including vitamin E acetate, has been identified in all of the samples tested. See? Importantly, the quote goes, identifying any compounds that are present in the samples will be one piece of the puzzle but will not necessarily answer questions about causality, close quote. Well, I'll tell you what. Humans left to their own devices will come up with things and, and do things, invent things, you know, that will blow up the lab maybe even, you know, cause serious illness and even death. <clears throat> There's some adulterant um, in, these, in these vaping products, in these vaping de devices. There is some compound, adulterate compound that is, is causing this. Yep. No question. If they will figure it out. I will, I will not be surprised if they ban the product. I All think of, some, like, I don't know if it's states, but some districts within states are starting to ban them, like cities and little mm -hmm. districts. So I hope, it, I hope it picks up. There's just no need for them. I don't think so. I wouldn't encourage smoking, but this is just as dangerous, if not, if not worse. 877-897-8255. Mm 877-897-TALK. -hmm. So if I said to you... In the same sentence, I put the words mouthwash. <laughs> you can't make these stories up. Curious where you're going with this. <laughs> mouthwash, exercise, and blood pressure. I'm thinking you're going to have to swash around some mouthwash while you're doing run down the sidewalk. That's what I, that's what I envision. Somehow it's healthy. 
<laughs> okay. You asked what I thought when you put the three things together. That's what I picture. Someone swishing mouthwash jogging down the sidewalk. Okay. Well, a new study found that using antibacterial mouthwash after exercising, working out, <laughs> negated the blood pressure lowering effects of exercise. What? What's going on there? Uh, this was, now be mindful, this was a very small study. There were only 15, uh, the N equals 15. The sample size was 15, it was eight women. <clears throat> this is not a big study. Um, Dr. Martha Gulati, she's, uh, she runs the cardiology, cardiology division at the University of, of Arizona College of Medicine. And uh, she's a spokesperson, by the way, for the American College of Cardiology. Dr. Gulati said, listen, don't be running out, rushing out, and changing all of your habits because of this study. It's a small study. And she said, uh, this is a small study, 15 men, excuse me, eight women. While they did see that blood pressure didn't drop when using an antibacterial rinse in the same way as compared to people, they did see that rather, as compared to people who got the placebo, the question is why and we don't know, she said, close quote. Why would that be? Let me see. Got an antibacterial mouthwash. You just finished working out. Usually what working out does, one of the cardiac or cardiovascular benefits, it will tend to lower blood pressure. So you go, you're, you're leaving the gym or you're in the gym in the locker room and you decide, you know what, maybe I need to do a little rinse. And it negates what you just did the last hour or so. You know, this show is just teaching me so much, man. Like just, vegans are more likely to have heart attacks, mouthwash and the gates workouts. Popeyes <laughs> is still out of chicken. Oh, I'm done. I'm gone. <laughs> Things are such a mess. <laughs> I sort of like it like that. Uh, we come back. I'll tell you more about this study. I, 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 what's the mouth heart connection here? We'll tell, we'll learn more. That's what the show is about. Now, I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to put a lot of faith into that study, a sample size of 15. Um, but I'll, I'll report. I'm thinking mouthwash, uh, bacteria in the mouth, inflammation, I, I, I don't know, periodontal disease, gingivitis. Let me see. Come back, I'll tell you. Don't be stressed out or anxious. Take Hempanol, the only raw CO2 hemp extract available. It's 100% organic with wild oregano P73 extract. You might have heard about CBD, but there's no comparison. Hempanol has the power and potency you need to support your nervous system, stay calm and focused, and maintain a healthy immune system. Unlike other CBD oils, Hempanol contains the full spectrum of phytocannabinoids. Take Hempanol and feel great. And if you suffer from insomnia and can't seem to get that full night's rest, try Hempanol PM. Hempanol PM is specifically formulated to get you the rest you need without feeling sluggish when you wake. It's non-addictive, completely natural, and leaves you feeling energetic and ready to take on the day. To place your order to find out where to find Hempanol in your area, call 1-800-243-5242. 800-243-5242. Or visit us at oregano.com. You're shot at a trip to our iHeartRadio Music Festival and $1,000 spending cash now. Text the nationwide keyword WHALE to 200-200. You'll get a confirmation text and info. Standard data and message rates apply in this nationwide contest. That's WHALE to 200-200. Touchdown, USF! The USF Bulls start the season one place, then graduate to another. Hear USF football on 1250 WHNZ during August and September before they head to 95.3 WDAE in October. News on 1250 WHNZ. Hurricane Dorian's bonus gift to Florida, extremely hot weather. Extra precautions should be taken today if you're planning on being outside. The National Weather Service has a heat advisory in effect until 6 tonight for many parts of Florida, including Tampa Bay and Fort Myers. 
The heat index could be as high as 112 in some areas. A contractor for the South Florida Water Management District was bitten by a gator in Palm Beach County. 31-year-old Kelsey Pollock thought it was a log until it bit her leg and swam away. Pollock climbed a tree. Her co-worker called for help. Rescue crews rushed her to the hospital and she was stitched up. I'm Joel Malkin. A boy is hurt after he was mauled by a dog in Broward County. The two-year-old was bitten in the face in Pembroke Pines by a bull mastiff boxer mix. The Florida's News, I'm Chris Trankman. From the 1250 WHNZ Florida Central Credit Union Auto Loans Traffic Center. Traffic still a bit slow on westbound I-4, approaching 275. No major problems to report along 275, though, and traffic moving well on 75 in Hillsborough County. Also, we're seeing delays on northbound US-41, just south of Gibsonton. Construction in the left-hand lane has traffic slow from north of Big Bend to almost Sims Road. See traffic problems. Call the injury firm, Abrahamson Uteric Hillsborough. Traffic tip line, 866-545-9595. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Indeed used by over 3 million businesses for hiring, where business owners and HR professionals can post job openings with screener questions, then sort, review, and communicate with candidates from an online dashboard. Learn more at Indeed.com slash hire. From the 1250 WHNZ Rood Air Conditioning Weather Center, rely on Rood. Your Tampa Bay forecast, a heat advisory in effect today from noon until 6, mostly sunny and hot with a high 95. Tonight, partly cloudy and less humid, low 76. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and pleasant, not as warm, with a high 91. For more news, weather, and traffic, tune to WFLA at 94.5 in St. Pete, 105.9 in Tampa, or 99.1 in Newport Ritchie. This report is sponsored by eBay. On eBay's $5 Fridays, you can ride the high of a shopping spree without feeling the guilt of a spending spree. Check eBay every Friday to get all kinds of things you need and want for just $5 plus free shipping. That's $5 Fridays only on eBay. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Jaro Formulas, superior nutrition and formulation. Natural factors where great health begins. Kyolic aging makes the finest garlic truly odorless. Celsius, live fit. Flora, 100 years of herbal wisdom. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Mouthwash, exercise, and your cardiovascular health. All said in the same sentence, what do they have to do with one another? Welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. This is an intriguing study that I'm reporting on. Uh, now, it's sort of like a um, pilot study, it looks like to me. There was only 15 people in the sample. But nevertheless, it's provocative. Uh, it, this is very provocative. The, um, a Dr. Gulati uh, has been commenting uh, on the study. And she said the heart rate response, the better, the heart rate response, the better blood flow and all other cardiac benefits that we get from exercise are not somehow magically blocked by these lovely bacteria that we'd like to get rid of with mouthwash, close quote. So I'll use this story as an opportunity to do a, a tutorial on periodontal health. So if you're just patient, there's, there's a lot to share with you here and, and some practical advice. We have known for a good while, science has established that the invasion, the population of bad bacteria in the mouth will affect the, the, your heart health. And in particular, it's, it's an inflammation-related kind of disease. Um, all diseases are inflammation-related. But this is, in the, in the mouth, gingivitis. Uh, and gingivitis, the itis tells you it's inflammation, is an, is an inflammation caused by uh, a collection or buildup of, pa of plaque or bacteria that can lead to red and puffy gums, and your gums will bleed very easily when you're brushing your teeth or when you go to the dentist and they try to clean your teeth and you're, you know, you're bleeding all over the place. That's, that's bad, not good. These pathogenic bacteria also cause tooth decay. Hmm. They cause pain. They cause bad breath. I mean, it's unpleasant. 
<clears throat> and also, and you can check my work, it's been linked to Alzheimer's and increases the risk of heart attack by nearly 50%. There is, a, there is a robust body of research here to support what I'm telling you. Dr. Gulati said, we think it's from inflammation. What I say earlier, going, and I hadn't read the rest of the report. She said, we think it's from inflammation. Inflammation, she said, seems to be the common pathway for atherosclerosis and the rupture of plaque that ultimately causes heart attacks and strokes. I've reported on that a million times. Now, your mouth... People become, doctors become concerned when uh, a person is bitten by another human. All right? Why? Because the mouth contains billions of bacteria. And, but not all are pathogenic. Not all are, I repeat, not all are pathogenic or harmful, disease-causing. Like you have bacteria in your gut. Not all of them are pathogenic. The, the purpose of this study was to look at species of bacteria, this is incredible, that use nitrate, and then the bacteria convert the nitrate into nitric oxide. Well, what, is, what does nitric oxide do? Nitric oxide is a vasodilator. It opens up the arteries, so that what? You got better blood flow. This is kind of cool. So you got bacteria in your mouth that convert nitrate into nitric oxide, which makes the arteries expand, which improves blood flow. So let's see now. You do mouthwash, maybe you're killing those bacteria. That's what I'm thinking. The study was published in the journal called Free Radical Biology. <laughs> Free Radical Biology and Medicine. And here's what they did with these folks in the study, 15 of them. <clears throat> they asked them to fast for the night, and then the next day, morning, they put them on, or then they made them run on a treadmill the next day for 30 minutes on two separate occasions. One, at one point, 30, 60, and then 90 minutes after each run, they were asked to wash their mouths with either a placebo mint-flavored water or an antibacterial mouthwash. Blood and saliva samples, they took those, and blood pressure, was they measured that. It took about five hours each visit for the, for the experimenters to get all that done with each one, each person. Dr. Paul, excuse me, Dr. Raul Vescos um, said the main finding was that the blood flow supply to the leg muscles and the lowering blood pressure response of exercise was significantly impaired when oral bacteria were not able to use nitrite and produce nit excuse me, nitrate and produce nitrite. Close quote. In fact, they said, Dr. Besco said, that using antibacterial mouthwash reduced the blood pressure-lowering effect of exercise, are you ready, by more than 60% during the first hour after exercise. And he went on to say, quote, this is the first evidence showing that oral bacteria, and these are not the pathogenic ones, play a key role in the cardiovascular response associated with exercise during the first period of recovery. The results seem to suggest to researchers that nitrate synthesis by mouth bacteria would sort of serve as like a uh, primer or a kickstart how, on how our bodies react to exercise. This is intriguing. Who would... Who would, who's walking around the earth other than these researchers and others that have an interest in this thinking that, okay, I know I got pathogenic bacteria in the mouth, but I got these other bacteria in the mouth that will cause my arteries to expand, turning nitrate into nitrite or nitrite into nitrate, and that's going to be good for my heart. 
And if I use mouthwash, I'm going to kill those bacteria. I lose that benefit. And my blood, after exercising, I won't get the benefit, the full benefit of lowering my blood pressure. Again, we have evolved for millions of years. All those bacteria that you have in your, in your gut, in that microbiome, billions of them, some are pathogenic and some are not. They have been with us forever. They are part of our biology. And with respect to the flora or the microbiome, once, that, once you have dysbiosis, and you have more pathogenic bacteria than the healthy ones or the good ones, the flora, you're in a lot of trouble. As many people have come to know and learn. You're, on, you're listening and watching Let's Talk Nutrition, where sometimes where you better respect some of those bacteria. Feel tired, lethargic, or irritable? Take solace. You're one of millions of Americans that has trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. In fact, according to a national survey, 54% of adults have trouble sleeping. So what can you do about it? Take Solace. Solace is an all-natural dietary supplement formulated to support healthy sleep and relaxation. Solace can help you fall asleep and stay asleep naturally. Formulated with all natural ingredients, Solace is not addictive and won't leave you feeling groggy in the morning. Take Solace an hour before bed and feel the calming effects of this extensively researched sleep and relaxation aid. For more information on Solace, call toll-free 877-533-7066 or visit TakeSolace.com. That's 877-533-7066 or Take solus.com look for solace in your local health and nutrition store solace for a good night's rest naturally the science of psychology tells us there is a connection between looking more attractive and having more self-confidence one way to look more attractive is to have healthy looking hair Ridgecrest herbals award-winning hair revive can support healthy attractive hair hair revive is formulated with a stress fighting complex hair growth ingredients, a hormone balancing complex, and Chinese herbs. Taken together, the ingredients in Hair Revive promote hair growth, encourage healthier, thicker looking hair, and support recovery from damaging hair styling techniques, harsh chemicals, and daily stress. So start looking more attractive with healthier, thicker, and shinier hair with Ridgecrest Herbals Hair Revive. Visit rcherbals.com for more information or call one 800 Two four two four six four nine, and mention this ad. That's one eight hundred two four two four six four nine. The latest trend to hit the store shelves has the whole country buzzing. Cannabidiol, or CBD, might just be the greatest discovery of our generation. And it comes from a plant that is not so new, agricultural hemp. Yes, after 70 years of prohibition and misunderstanding, hemp is back to help you stay healthy and balanced. Growing research is showing that we have a lot to learn from the remarkable hemp plant. Nutrient-rich products like Plus CBD Oil's Total Plant Complex concentrated products provide broad-spectrum nutrition, including fatty acids, plant sterols, cannabinoids, terpenes, and naturally occurring vitamin E. From seed to shelf, all Plus CBD Oil products provide the highest quality hemp-derived CBD products available and are offered in a variety of delivery systems and flavors to suit your needs. Ask your local independent health food store about Plus CBD Oil products by CV Sciences today and learn more about about the CBD evolution at pluscbdoil.com. That's pluscbdoil.com. Did you know that you have three brains? Yes, you heard right. Exciting new research reveals you have three brains, your head brain, your heart brain, and your gut brain. These three brains are like an orchestra with billions of neurons working together to create a harmonic symphony. This intricate relationship between these three brains impacts your mental, emotional, and physical health. The Three Brain Supplements from Natural Factors is a bold new innovation in mental health. It provides a whole body approach to balance brain health and well-being. Start with the Three Brains Total Kit, which includes five supplements that are essential for three brain health. 
the kit provides foundational support for all three of your brains. Then, depending on your unique needs, choose from higher thoughts to enhance brain performance, mental sunshine for healthy mood balance, serene mind to relieve stress-related fatigue, or the best sleep for restful sleep. Learn more at 3brainshealth.com. This is Dr. Michael Garka, host of the nationally syndicated health talk show, Let's Talk Nutrition. Way too often, dietary supplements cost way too much. Not so at Vitamin Discount Center. Here's why. BDC sells leading national brands up to 50% off MSRP every day. Competitors' prices are matched for identical products with proof of price. If you're in the military or are a first responder, you get an additional 10% off BDC's already discounted prices. BDC even offers case discounts. And you can get connected with BDC's VIP mobile text program for additional savings and customer rewards throughout the month. The choice is clear. You can save at Vitamin Discount Center. For a store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com or call 813-907-7066. That's 813-907-7066. Vitamin Discount Center. For life, for less. Talk Nutrition is brought to you by CV Sciences, from seed to shelf. Form Essentials, makers of the Sleep Aid Solace. North American Herb and Spice, wellness for life. Natural Factors, where great health begins. New Chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Gargo. Watch your mouth. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. Yeah, you better watch your mouth because I'm telling you, your mouth is a key to your health. I'm glad you were able to stop by today doing a little tutorial uh, building on this new study that found that when people used in the study, when the, uh, su the subjects in the study uh, were asked to use mouthwash after they exercised, they found that the, back the good bacteria in their mouth we're not able to make the conversion where you have um, this, this conversion involving, uh, <laughs> you, uh, again, you, you just can't make it up, that um, the, we've known for a long time that nitric oxide, for example, will do what? It will expand the arteries. And that's a good thing because when the arteries are open, you get less pressure or you have bacteria in your mouth that will convert nitrate into nitric oxide all right nitrate into nit this is evolution it's biology they're part of us and when uh, when the nitric oxide once they make the conversion you swallow that and then that opens up your arteries so after your exercise routine, if you decide to use mouthwash, you're killing those bacteria. You kill all bacteria. It doesn't discriminate between the pathogenic bacteria in your mouth and the, and the good bacteria. And then you lose the benefit of the, the, an exercise itself also helps to lower blood pressure. So that's what they found out in a word. Is this like right after you work out? Or is yes. It, okay, so they it has that. to be done like right after. You. Like I said, uh, as I reported when they, uh, on the methods in the study, that's what they did. Now, let's take this opportunity then to do a little tutorial on periodontal disease and periodontal health. I'm going to tell you how crazy I am with, with all this. I just had my teeth cleaned about two weeks ago. And I'm not new to that rodeo. I get my teeth cleaned four times a year. And, Me too. And, and, all right. And I don't know how many hundreds of times I've had it done. The hygienist, I, I didn't feel right to me. My teeth, especially in the front teeth, behind the teeth. The actual I, cleaning or when you were done? When teeth? it was done. Okay. And I didn't like the way you cleaned them either. Okay. Um, it didn't feel right. I felt like buildup. 
so yesterday I had to go back into the dentist and uh, have uh, something done. And I told the uh, dentist, who's, who's fabulous, she's, she's great. I, I love her. She, I mean, she's the best. And uh, she said, well, try this hygienist. So I'm going back on Tuesday and have it done again. That's how crazy I am about all this. Why? Because I know that your mouth health is connected to your overall health. And if you have periodontal disease, you have persistent chronic inflammation. And those bacteria are, are, and there's a connection between periodontal disease and heart disease, Alzheimer's and whatnot. It's bad news. Periodontal disease, in a word, is an inflammatory disease. It's also called gum disease. Your gums swell. They get red. Uh, the bone uh, gets weakened and deteriorates. And when that, if that gets out of control, if you lose the bone structure, you're going to lose your teeth because there's nothing for the, to anchor the teeth into. So there are different stages of the d disease and are called gingivitis and periodontitis. Hmm. Gum disease is the number one cause of tooth loss in adults and affects about three out of four adults who are over age 35. More than half adults over age 18 already have early stages of, er of early periodontal disease. Gingivitis is the earliest form of periodontal disease. It occurs when you get plaque buildup on the teeth near the gums. The gums become inflamed. It causes redness and swelling, causes the gums to bleed, uh, and the disease doesn't abate on its own. It gets progressed. This is a case where bad things get worse. That's what happens here. If detected and treated early, the gingivital tissue can be restored to normal. That's why it's called gingivitis. That tissue along where your that where your along your gums that's called gingivital gingivital tissue. I didn't know that. Periodontitis left untreated uh, left untreated uh, gingivitis becomes periodontitis, known as pyorrhea. Doesn't even sound good, does it? As the plaque begins to harden, it cal like it calcifies, and they, it, it calcifies into what they call calculus. It extends from the gum line down to the root of the tooth. Gradually, the gums will detach from the tooth and form what they call pockets. And the dentist, the hygienist or the dentist, they will take a probe and they will, and they can tell, they can measure how much space is between the gum and the tooth, and if, it, if your gums have receded, and they can see they can see the pockets, and they can they score. You can get a score: one, two, three, four, five. They score them. These periodontal pockets create room for what? It's like a hotel for bacteria, and they start to live there. And then what happens? The disease progresses and gets worse. The bone supporting the tooth. Ultimately, if left untreated, will be uh, compromised or otherwise destroyed. Once that happens, you're done. You will lose your teeth, and you're done. You'll have to get uh, another way to get teeth into your head. And that's unpleasant. Causes of periodontal disease, plaque. It's plaque. Like you have placking of the arteries, well, you got plaque. That calculus also builds up on your teeth, on your gums. It con plaque continually forms on the teeth. It's the nature of it because you got bacteria in your mouth. There's no, there's nobody that's immune from this. Daily brushing and flossing break up the plaque, and and it doesn't accumulate. There are at least 30 kinds or types of bacteria that produce periodontal disease. And these bacteria create toxins, which are poisonous, that irritate the gums and loosen the attachment of gum tissue to the teeth. Smoking, chewing tobacco, 
or clenching the teeth can also contribute to periodontal disease. I hope you have found this useful. Watch your mouth. Are you tired of being tired? So was Amanda until she tried Floridix Iron and Herbs. You can probably relate. Between juggling her job and family, she was constantly exhausted. She put off going to the gym and making her dinner every night seemed like a heroic task. Then she found out she had the most common nutritional deficiency in the U.S., iron deficiency. Amanda turned to Floridix, an easily absorbed plant-based liquid iron supplement. For over 60 years, Floridix has been helping reduce exhaustion and fatigue caused by iron deficiency. This formula is easy on the digestive tract and free of artificial colors and flavors. It even has vitamins B and C for enhanced absorption. No wonder it's the best-selling iron supplement in North America. Flora Vital provides all the same benefits as Floridix, but without gluten or yeast. Reclaim your energy with Floridix and Flora Vital, available at your local health food store. For more information, visit florahealth.com forward slash Floridix. florahealth.com forward slash Floridix. The ever-increasing stress and toxicity we are exposed to from our environment, diets, and lifestyles make internal cleansing a necessary part of a good health regimen. Founded in 1980, Yerba Prima was the first company to launch a whole-body internal cleansing kit. Since that time, they have continued to develop and manufacture a complete range of all-natural, high-quality fiber and internal cleansing products. By using all-natural psyllium fiber and no harmful stimulant laxatives, all Yerba Prima fiber and internal cleansing products can be used over a long period of time to ensure optimal health and regularity. With nearly 30 years dedicated to all-natural cleansing products, it's easy to see why Yerba Prima is a leader in the fiber and cleansing products category. Learn more at YerbaPrima.com, Y-E-R-B-A-P-R-I-M-A.com, or visit your local health retailer. Yerba Prima, pioneer in internal cleansing products. The proceeding was a commercial program paid for by Let's Talk Nutrition, LLC. The Rays play on Tampa Bay Sports Radio, WDAE. To the wall, it's gone! Catch every pitch of Rays baseball in Pinellas and Hillsboro on 95.3 FM and all over Tampa Bay on 620 AM. Raise up. Country music news first. Straight out of Nashville. It's Kristen's Music City Minute. Dirks Bentley was in Colorado this past weekend hosting his second annual Seven Peaks Festival, but still found time to get in a little fishing. Unfortunately, he did so without a license, and he wound up getting ticketed. He shared a video of the moment on Instagram. Hey, look, those uh, fish we caught in Cottonwood Creek uh, this weekend here in Buena Vista. Yeah, uh, we probably should get a fishing license next time because I just got pulled over. Dirk says he actually appreciates the ticket because he was being treated like a regular person. He also said he appreciates what Colorado Parks and Wildlife does and that he'll be licensed up next time. I'm Kristen Gates, and that's your Music City Minute right here on iHeartRadio. 1250 wins. WHNZ. Tampa Bay. Available everywhere you want to listen on our free iHeartRadio app. Download it now. This is CBS News on the Hour. Real news, real reporting. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Hurricane Dorian makes landfall over Cape Hatteras. It hit North Carolina just before 9 a.m. Eastern as a Category 1 storm with 90 mile an hour winds. Correspondent Omar Villafranca has been battling the elements on the beach in Kitty Hawk. This has absolutely picked up probably in the last. 30 minutes to 45 minutes, we are starting to see some bigger waves crash up here. The, the rain bands have kind of passed by right now, so we have a little lull in the rain. Earlier, we were getting a pretty uh, heavy downpour. They're expecting about up to a foot of rain coming in, but the big concern is the storm surge. People who live along the coast are bracing. We've been displaced in a storm like this two years in a row. It's, it's tough. Stuff on the family. Almost 350,000 customers in the Carolinas are without power. Mexico is declaring a major victory in the fight to slow the flow of migrants into the U.S. In three months, the number of migrants arriving at the U.S. border through Mexico has dropped to 63,000, down from 144,000. Mexico's foreign minister said his country will not allow them to file U.S. asylum claims while staying in Mexico. No consideramos que el tercer país seguro sea aceptable para México y menos aún 
Migrants are being offered jobs, but so far only about 5,000 have chosen to stay. Adrian Bard, CBS News, Mexico City. American Airlines is accusing a mechanic of sabotaging an airplane over a labor dispute. The details from CBS's Peter King. Court papers show mechanic Abdul Majid Alani admits tampering with an American Airlines plane's navigation system at Miami International back in July to get overtime work that he wasn't getting because of tough union negotiations. The pilots aborted takeoff for the Bahamas when they saw an error message. Technicians found foam glued to a crucial part of the system. A new sign the economy is slowing down. The Labor Department reports 130,000 new jobs were created last month. That's that's lower than analysts expected. Economist Gus Fauché. Businesses are just finding it more difficult to find workers because of the tight job market. But the second thing is, is in for a variety of reasons, we are seeing slower overall economic growth. Unemployment held steady at 3.7 percent. Right now, the Dow is up 40 points. Facebook could be facing more legal problems. New York State's Attorney General is leading eight other states and the District of Columbia in an antitrust investigation. Letitia James says their goal is to find out out whether the company put users' personal data at risk, reduced their quality of choices, or increased the price of advertising. This is CBS News. CBS News Radio is your home for breaking news. With our team of reporters around the country and the world, we give you the coverage you can trust. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack. Sure, you can post your job to some job board, but then all you can do is hope the right person comes along, which is why you should try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on candidates finding you. It finds them for you. Its powerful technology identifies people with the right experience and actively invites them to apply to your job. You get qualified candidates fast. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you what you're looking for. The needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job in ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. ZipRecruiter. The smartest way to hire. And now you can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right. Free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Let's Talk Nutrition is streaming on your Amazon Echo device. Just say, Alexa, play 1250 WHNZ from iHeartRadio. Now, this week's top TV streams. Here's what you've been watching on TV this week. The ABC provocative drama Grand Hotel kicks us off at number five. How far will they go for love? TLC's 90 Day Fiance The Other Way takes fourth place. Making our countdown again is Bravo's Below Deck Mediterranean, coming in at number three. Taking second place is ABC's Bachelor in Paradise. And finally, the top spot goes to The Real Housewives of Orange County. Once again, your number one TV stream. That's this week's top TV streams on iHeartRadio. From the 1250 WHNZ Florida Central Credit Union Auto Loans Traffic Center. A crash reported on I-75 at 674. Looks like the right lane is blocked here. There's left lane construction northbound on US-41 north of Sims Road where they're doing some paving. And an accident clearing up in Clearwater from Drew and Highland. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Edward Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line at 866-545-9595. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Indeed, used by over 3 million businesses for hiring, where business owners and HR professionals can post job openings with screener questions, then sort, review, and communicate with candidates from an online dashboard. Learn more at Indeed.com slash hire. The following is a commercial program paid for by Let's Talk Nutrition, LLC. The opinions, viewpoints, and promises made during the following program are not those of WHNZ AM, its staff, management, or parent company, iHeartMedia Incorporated. Statements made during this broadcast regarding products or the claims made about specific products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Products and treatments discussed are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Make your physician aware of all nutritional supplements used and immediately notify your physician if you have any health concern or undiagnosed sign or symptom. 
Let's Talk Nutrition is a health talk show that features scientists, authors, nutrition specialists, personal trainers, holistic healers, and experts in traditional, natural, and integrative medicine. Listen for a chance to win daily prizes and follow Let's Talk Nutrition on Facebook and Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition or on Twitter at LTN Radio. It's time for some inspiration. Tune in to get fit and healthy. It's time to talk about nutrition. Nutrition for your body, your mind, your spirit. It's time to talk about proper exercise, stress relief, eating well, and supplementation to help. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition with Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome to the show. That lady gets it right every time. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Every day she says the same thing. It's always right, too. Glad you could stop by today. Thanks for doing that. We're at the end of the week. And as I say, not, but not, not quite yet at the end of our rope. Not yet. Uh, first hour, uh, <laughs> did a little, did, reported on a study linking the bacteria in your mouth, exercise, and mouthwash. Everything is archived. Uh, Katie will tell you in a moment on how you can find all those previously aired shows or just a moment, just the previous hour for that matter. And I did a little tutorial on periodontal disease or periodontal health. Hmm. And (laughs) the things that we keep looking for, all these exotic, um, I don't know, new things to do to be healthy, Go back to the rudiments. Go back to the basics. Watch your mouth. Is that, is that first hour, periodontal, periodontal health, watch your mouth. That was the theme. And watch your mouth for the plaque buildup. Watch your mouth for, uh, you know, diseased gums. Take, take care, brush your teeth, floss your teeth. Flossing the teeth helps kill the bacteria too, by the way. And it does make a difference. So that was the first hour. Mouth health, oral health, connection to overall health. Just saying. Uh, There are three stories. There's more than that. But there are at least three that I could get my mitts on that deal with food safety. I'll report on them and do uh, a little tutorial this hour, too on food safety and the omnivore's dilemma. Some of you who know the book realize that I just uh, appropriated the title of the book um, for a theme here. What is the omnivore's dilemma? Michael Pollan wrote about that, A Natural History of Four Meals. It's a book worth reading. I happen to have a copy in my hand here. And another person that I read and like a lot is Marion Nessel. And she wrote a book, and I have that in my hand, called Safe Food, Bacteria, Bacteria, Biotechnology, and Bioterrorism. <clears throat> Marion Nestle, not Nestle, Marion Nestle has nothing to do with Nestle's chocolate or the Nestle Food Company. She is a wonderful um, researcher. Her insight into uh, nutrition is is remarkable. She is so articulate and so good. Uh, she's a real scholar. And I um, have a lot of regard for her and Michael Pollan. Michael Pollan is an investigative journalist. And if you haven't seen the uh, documentary called Food, Inc., that's worth watching as well. We're here to educate. We're here to inform. We're here to persuade primarily. And I try to share with you the things that I read, the things that uh, inform me, uh, things that I uh, become introduced to in my own uh, coursework in nutrition. I share that with you. <clears throat> and because <laughs> the more you know uh, about what to do, the better off in the long run you're going to be. And if you're listening to the show, you must be motivated to do that. And oftentimes I preach to the choir uh, and. Um, you know, we all don't necessarily have to sing from the same hymnal. 
or even sing the same song. But what we have to do is understand that there are some universal kinds of principles <clears throat> that, by their nature, cut across cultures, cut across ethnic differences, gender differences, and so on. Yes, we are unique in our biology. Yes, we are each and every one of us. But at the same time, there are things that we all share in common as a species no matter where we are on this planet, these, sort, these universal principles of biology, uh, chemistry, that drive what we are as a species, as an organism, if you want to use that kind of language. I know it seems odd to refer to humans as organisms, but we are. Just as the, the microscopic bacteria are organisms, as the plants are. We're just a little bigger. We're just a little bigger. And we possess something that most organisms don't have, and that's the ability to be self-reflexive, to be able to think about our thinking, to be able to think and to think about our thinking. That makes us unique. Conscious, uh, sentient beings that um, distinguish us, but at the same time, um, <laughs> we are much. We we are part of a greater system, and until until humans begin to collectively, there are a lot of individuals who realize it that we're part of this greater system. On this planet, we'll be better off. We'll quit destroying the planet, the Amazon jungle, the the ice caps. I could go from one end of the planet to the other, one environment to the other. There's something about, it, as, as thoughtful as we can be, there's something about our nature where we can destroy nature and uh, violate and violate. And it's wrong. It's just wrong. As far as I know, this is the only rock that's spinning where life, life as we know it, as we know it, exists. And right now, there's no mass transit off the planet. And if you turn this place into a giant cesspool, swamp, toilet, whatever metaphor you want to use, and there's no other place to go, I know that seem, may seem abstract, but it's not. Climate change is real. We're destroying the planet. And we have a small window to, to try to turn this around. I'm done with trying to be rhetorically, politically correct about saying, you know, well, maybe climate, no. Climate change is real. The science of climate change is real. It has nothing to do with politics. Nothing. Zero. As far as I'm concerned. It has something to do with the survival of the species and the survival of this planet. Completely agree. 100%. Full stop. I'm done. I'm done with being, you know, people are entitled to their opinion. You're not entitled to your own facts. You're not. Neither am I. And this notion that there's some conspiracy among climate scientists, I don't know where they hold that meeting every year to come to, uh, to, Mount this conspiracy, that they're making up data? No, they're not. These are everyday people that just happen to be scientists. These are not insidious, uh, plotting political creatures. These are human beings that care. And there are hundreds, if not thousands, of them around the planet doing their work. The ice caps are melting. Now, you can stand up and yell and scream all day long about what's causing it, the fact of the matter, it's real. And to say that human beings are not involved in climate change is, with all due respect, naive and wrong-headed thinking. We are involved in that. Just saying. Gotta just, you, you, you just, I'm just telling you. You and I will all be, go we'll all be gone. What we leave behind is what... Our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren are going to have to deal with. 
we got a serious, serious issue. And when I see what's going on and all the, the craziness with the weather, the intensity of these hurricanes and whatnot, but more immediately, uh, we need to get our act cleaned up with food safety. I have no less than three stories about food safety, some even involving your pets. Ridgecrest Herbal's original Clear Lung Supplement has been the number one selling natural product for lung health since 1998. Clear Lung's formula is a synergistic blend of Chinese herbs that helps maintain open airways and balanced mucus levels. It combines the healing properties of 13 perfectly balanced herbs that have been used in traditional Chinese medicine for over 2,000 years. Need extra help? Try Ridgecrest Herbal's Clear Lung's Extra Strength with twice the herbs and Ridgecrest Herbal's patented Avela Blend formula designed to support the bio availability of the original 13 herbs. Got a picky kid who doesn't like pills? Clear Lungs Liquid is safe for children and has a naturally sweet orange flavoring. And don't forget to check out Clear Lungs Immune and Clear Lungs Sport. Visit rcherbals.com or call 1-800-242-4649 and mention this ad to order the right Clear Lungs product for you. That's 1-800-242-4649. Is getting a good night's sleep a challenge? Fortunately, there's a superior fast-acting sleep formula called Tranquil Sleep from Natural Factors. This non-habit-forming supplement contains a unique combination of melatonin, 5-HTP, and L-theanine, which works in harmony with your body's natural sleep hormones. Tranquil Sleep can help you fall asleep, stay asleep, sleep sounder, and wake up refreshed, all without feeling drowsy in the morning. The key benefit comes from increasing the time spent in the deeper stages of sleep. It's only in these deeper levels of sleep that we truly experience the rejuvenation, regeneration, and recuperation that sleep provides. Even if you think you get a good night's sleep, give Tranquil Sleep a try. You might be surprised with how much better you've slept by waking up with more energy and enthusiasm to start your day. Learn more at naturalfactors.com. This is Dr. Michael Garka, host of the nationally syndicated health talk show, Let's Talk Nutrition. Way too often, dietary supplements cost way too much. Not so at Vitamin Discount Center. Here's why. BDC sells leading national brands up to 50% off MSRP every day. Competitors' prices are matched for identical products with proof of price. If you're in the military or are a first responder, you get an additional 10% off BDC's already discounted prices. BDC even offers case discounts. And you can get connected with BDC's VIP mobile text program for additional savings and customer rewards throughout the month. The choice is clear. You can save at Vitamin Discount Center. For a store nearest you, visit vitamindisccountcenter.com or call 813-907-7066. That's 813-907-7066. Vitamin Discount Center. For life, for less. Celsius is a fitness drink which is clinically proven to function. How? As a thermogenic, Celsius proprietary MetaPlus blend accelerates metabolism, increasing your body's ability to burn fat and calories. There are only two ways a body burns fat, through increased heart rate and our increased body temperature, thermogenesis. Drinking Celsius and then going into motion is double dipping. You're accelerating the burn and the results are even faster. Celsius is your ultimate fitness partner. No high fructose corn syrup, no aspartame, no preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors. 100% of seven essential vitamins. Proven in six published university studies. How does it work? Celsius proprietary MetaPlus formula, including green tea with EGCS, ginger, and guana seed, turns on thermogenesis, a, a process that boosts your body's metabolic rate. Drinking Celsius prior to fitness activities is proven to energize, accelerate metabolism, burn body fat, and calories. Invest in yourself. Drink Celsius. Look for us at www.celsius.com.
Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by American Biotech Labs, your daily immune system support. Ridgecrest Herbals, take your health to a higher elevation. Ancient Nutrition, nutrition for a modern world. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. North American Herb and Spice, wellness for life. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. I knew I now have uh, something I can share with you that would maybe help you convince somebody to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the show. And uh, tell me more. Okay. Well, you are married, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm not. Um, I'm not. Yes, you. You're not. No. <laughs> I was at one point. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. You and half the other. People that were married. No, once. my kids need a stepmom though, so let's go. Okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, get busy, brother. Get busy. You're about to help them out. Yeah. Uh, so I'm here. There's there's this story trending about that. Uh, before I get to the food safety issue, I'll do a little tutorial today on food safety, uh, working off of Michael Pollan's book, The Om Omnivore's Dilemma, and why is it uh, that there is such a dilemma? But on a lighter note, well, maybe not so light, but this um, business about marriage, uh, there are a number of studies to show now, and I've reported on quite a few over the years, that being married uh, seems to serve your health pretty well. You live yeah. long. You live long. <laughs> Depends on what kind of marriage. He's sitting you got. across the person that's divorced, and I'm like, oh, I don't feel these effects. Wait, you're, you're not feeling that, right? But I get that. <laughs> yeah, not I get having it. the feeling of emptiness and loneliness. I get that. Well, but people. If you marry the right person. But, yeah, yeah, good luck. Fine, a quality of life is better. Health is better. Men seem to live longer. Well, no wonder everybody's. The missus is doing everything for him. No wonder they're doing better. Uh, men tend, I'm just kidding. Uh, they, men seem to live longer and so on. Lots of studies about this. A new study also now is suggesting that being married may decrease your chance of, develop, of developing dementia. Now, this is interesting. Uh, dementia, of course, is a decline of our cognitive function. I've, we just talked about that this week. <laughs> and it can, you know, it is a, some people would say, I would rather die than be, suffer from uh, a chronic case of dementia generally or Alzheimer's specifically. The study found that married people have a far lower chance of being diagnosed with this horrible, awful uh, disorder. And, and those, uh, than those who are divorced or separated, widowed, or never married. Is it just for the reason that there's someone there with you helping you remind, helping remind you, helping you keep you on your feet? Like, what about being married? Good question. Let's keep that in play. Okay. Divorced people have more than twice the odds of mental decline. Oh, God. Compared to married people. This is a 14-year study. Uh, divorce, of course, is, can be awful and ugly, but the, pro, you know, the process of getting divorced in this study showed just what I reported, that you have twice the odds for mental decline. And divorced men worse fair, are, are fair worse. They have a 2.6 times higher chance of developing dementia than married men while divorced women have a 30% increased risk versus married women. So both, both genders take a hit here. So basically she won the divorce <laughs> and she's going to win in life. Well, like, I'm just kidding. You better, <laughs> you better be careful. Right. You better be careful. <laughs> Quote, married people, <laughs> married people, of course, are fan financially better off than those who do not have a spouse. Uh, so said Dr. Hui Lu investigator and professor of sociology at Michigan State. Uh, she said there are a lot of theories about why marriage might be good for general health, which was the Katie's inquiry. But the, there, she said, but there are factors other than economics that play just as strongly into this. There's the social psychology benefit. What is she getting at? 
Well, uh, what she's getting at here, that, that social psychology benefit, there's something about interaction. There's something about connecting with another. There's something about, um, you know, the presence, of, just the mere presence of another. Yeah. Somebody being there, which was what you were suggesting, Katie. Yeah. Um, and what we know, too, and I can tell you from firsthand experience, that when you're ill and you live alone, brother, you better, you better be prepared and you better have uh, trained yourself to know how to take care of yourself. Because when you're sick and really sick, cancer or some dreaded disease, and you're fighting for your life and you live alone, I wouldn't recommend it. I would not recommend it. Take it from me. Uh, and having a partner in those times, in those moments, can serve you well. But there's something about our brains that seem to like, inter we are social creatures, that seem to favor it seems to favor that kind of connection. So in a sense, like you're kind of giving yourself a will to not want to have it, like you have more reason to not, I don't, it's hard to put my thoughts into words, but. Well, I think I understand what you're trying to say, Katie. Um, Rather, if you just don't care, you're probably more likely to get it quicker because you just don't care. You're not doing anything to prevent it. That, well, that may be. It may be that you take, maybe that you, you're considering the other and you realize that maybe I should do better for myself so that my partner can do better. Right. Yes, yeah, I keep saying your health is your wealth and your health is the wealth of those that care about and love you. If, it's, if you don't want to take care of yourself for yourself, take care of yourself for the people that care about and love you. So th this study, I find it so intriguing. Uh, there's more that I can tell you about it. I will spend just another couple minutes with this study and then I want to get to these food safety studies and the food safety issue and the omnivores dilemma. Don't be stressed out or anxious. Take Hempinol, the only raw CO2 hemp extract available. It's 100% organic with wild oregano P73 extract. You might have heard about CBD, but there's no comparison. Hempinol has the power and potency you need to support your nervous system, stay calm and focused, and maintain a healthy immune system. Unlike other CBD oils, Hempinol contains the full spectrum of phytocannabinoids. Take Hempinol and feel great. And if you suffer from insomnia and can't seem to get that full night's rest, try Hempinol PM. Hempinol PM is specifically formulated to get you the rest you need without feeling sluggish when you wake. It's non-addictive, completely natural, and leaves you feeling energetic and ready to take on the day. To place your order to find out where to find Hempinol in your area, call 1-800-243-5242. 800-243-5242. Or visit us at oregano.com. 1250 WHNZ. Online at whnz.com. On your phone with the iHeartRadio app. And on hundreds of devices like Alexa, Google Home, Xbox, and Sonos. And iHeartRadio station. Win your way to our 2019 iHeartRadio Music Festival and $1,000 to spend while you're in Vegas. T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. More than 30 of the biggest music superstars handpicked by iHeartRadio. Hosted by Ryan Seacrest. News on 1250 WHNZ. Guards at one of the country's largest women's prisons are accused of beating an inmate in Marion County. Cheryl Weimar's family filed a federal lawsuit last week after the beating they say left her a quadriplegic. Four guards at Lowell Correctional Institution near Ocala allegedly broke the 51-year-old's neck in the beating last month. Because South Florida did not take a direct hit from Hurricane Dorian, there won't be a massive influx of mosquitoes. Not typically what we see with mosquito populations. They either disappear altogether or they hunker down or they may survive as eggs. Miami-Dade Mosquito Control Director Dr. William Petrie says he doesn't think there was enough wind or rain to make a difference. A mechanic is due in court today for trying to sabotage an American Airlines plane out of Miami International Airport. For Florida's News. I'm Chris Trankman. 
Northbound I-75 is a crash in the right merge lane at 674, and there's construction in the left lane northbound on I-75 north of State Road 50. There's left lane construction northbound on US-41 north of Sims Road, and we have a gas leak reported in Safety Harbor at Main Street near 590. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abraham Center and Edward Kelsborough Traffic Tip Line at 866-545-9595. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Indeed, used by over 3 million businesses for hiring, where business owners and HR professionals can post job openings with screener questions, then sort, review, and communicate with candidates from an online dashboard. Learn more at Indeed.com slash hire. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack. Sure, you can post your job to some job board, but then all you can do is hope the right person comes along, which is why you should try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on candidates finding you. It finds them for you. Its powerful technology identifies people with the right experience and actively invites them to apply to your job. You get qualified candidates fast. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you what you're looking for. The needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job in ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. ZipRecruiter. The smartest way to hire. And now you can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. From the Weather Center, Abrahamson and Uterwick, TheInjuryLawyers.com, serving your community, Pinellas Hillsboro. Your Tampa Bay area forecast, just a 10% rain chance, high 92, a heat advisory up until 6 p.m. It'll feel like 106, partly cloudy overnight, low 76, Saturday, partly cloudy, high 92, Sunday, partly cloudy, high 91. For more news, weather, and traffic, tune to WFLA at 94.5 in St. Pete, 105.9 in Tampa, or 99.1 in Newport Ritchie. This report is sponsored by LifeLock with Norton. No one wants to wake up to the news that they're the victim of identity theft or that malware is compromising their smartphone. That's why LifeLock with Norton now includes protection for your identity and devices. Join at LifeLock.com and use promo code RISK to get 10% off your first year. Weekends on talk radio. I know what you're thinking. All ball games or best of shows. My name is Bill Handel and my show Handle on the Law is fresh every weekend. On Handle on the Law... I offer marginal legal advice in an entertaining, that's a medical fact, three-hour show. I'm the reason you want to turn on your radio this weekend. Just ask my mother. Don't miss Handle on the Law, Sunday afternoon from 2 to 5, here on 1250 WHNZ. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Jaro Formulas, superior nutrition and formulation. Natural factors where great health begins. Kyolic, aging makes the finest garlic truly odorless. Celsius, live fit. Flora, 100 years of herbal wisdom. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. So the next time you propose to somebody... <laughs> <laughs> if you're trying to convince this person to marry you, what you can say is, and you can cite the study. I'll give you the citation. You can say, you can say, listen, we <laughs> we need to get married. You should marry me. And he or she says, well, why is that? Because if we get married, you, you will lower your odds of developing dementia. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like a good reason. I don't think that's going to carry the day. No, no, no. I mean, not the whole thing. I feel like you got to have something after that, but you could yeah, leave with yeah, that. Yeah, you better, like, if you're a guy, you better have a nice ring, and you better have a job, and you better be a good guy and a good woman. Whatever. But you could leave with the dementia thing. That's, that's solid, because that's important. Yeah, some people would say, no, man, marriage is making me crazy. It's making me lose my mind. What are you talking about? Oh, my goodness. Here's how to connect with the show. You can give us a call at 877-897-8255, 877-897-TALK. You can email Dr. Garko personally at drgarko at letstalknutrition.com. And if you go to letstalknutrition.com, all of our shows are on there from 
pretty much forever. They're sorted by date and title, so whatever information you're looking for, you can find it on letstalknutrition.com. You can also watch us live and see all of our smiling faces. Well, for the most part, we're usually smiling. <laughs> you go to YouTube, search Let's Talk Nutrition. We've got over 1,500 videos, so surely we've got a video on there for a topic you want to hear about. Somewhere in that, those archives, you'll find it. Uh, <laughs> Katie's question earlier, what would be the hypothesis or what would be the reason as to why being married uh, seems to lower the odds for dementia? As well, no, being married also seems to increase longevity and produce uh, a better quality of life and so on. Many researchers, uh, based on findings and studies, and maybe some even anecdotal evidence, would say emotional support is the key to preventing dementia. So said Dr. Linda Waite, professor of urban sociology at the University of Chicago. She said the cortex, that's the front of your brain, evolved as a center of cognitive processing. She said it manages our level of functioning. It falls below the level of normal functioning. That's when dementia happens, close quote. And, married, uh, and she said that married people find their social network through their spouses their friends and family and their sense of belonging. She said, being married increases social integration, which promotes cognitive health, close quote. And then a Dr. Deborah Carr, professor and chair of sociology at Boston University and editor of the Journal of uh, Gerontology said, quote, I'm reading the quote, the wife is the lifeline to the family, the king keeper. She said, there are many factors that can make a man more vulnerable to divorce, to divorce, and that makes men more vulnerable to dementia. Close quote. That's interesting. I want my family back. Uh, I understand. <laughs> this study <laughs> followed, followed more than 15,000 people. They were 52 years of age and older, and they showed no signs of dementia at the start of the trial, and they used marital status to predict participants' later mental health by measuring their cognitive function every two years from the year 2000 all the way through 2014, either in person or telephonically. Married people had a lower risk of dementia because they, quote, constantly interact with each other, negotiate and relate, and that keeps the cortex engaged, close quote, so said Dr. Waite. Stress may explain why divorced men are at such a loss when their marriage goes south or some other direction. Quote, they may be more at risk than unmarried men because they have been through a crisis, which is divorce. That creates stress, Dr. Waite said. This is interesting. Um, uh, you know, men seek more health benefits uh, from their marriage. Quote, they lean on their wives for emotional support, and women help the men. Don't smoke, don't overeat, get a checkup, <laughs> Dr. Lou said. Men tend to get more benefit from the relationship, but once they're divorced, they lose all that, and that makes them more prone to dementia. So, for you guys out there, I gave in already. Work, work, on, work on that relationship. There are three stories trending right now, as we speak, about food safety. <sighs> uh, there's a s widening salmonella breakout linked to pig ear dog treats that has sickened 143 people in 35 states. What? You know, wait, what? Wait, hold on. A I, dog treat injured people? Yeah, well, okay. Let me, let me, let me explain. All right. <laughs> I feed these to my dog, so I'm intrigued. All right. Two more pet food manufacturers are among the list of those recalling pig ear dog treats tied to an outbreak of salmonella, as I said, now stricken uh, 143 people in 35 states. In, illnesses include 33 hospitalizations and 26 cases of children under five, the federal health official said yesterday. Dog owners should not buy or feed any pig ears to their pets. What's it? I, I don't even know what this is including treats already in the homes, so said the CDC. You all know about this? What are pig ears? What what They're is? literally dried pig ears. 
The warning comes two days after the latest in a string of recalls involving the dog snacks. Dog Goods USA, that's a company, expanded a previous recall to include all 30 packs of Berkeley and Jensen brand pig ears sold at BJ's Wholesale Food Stores. Club food stores. Right side, I don't buy them from there. The company purchased the pig ears from a single supplier in Brazil from September 2018 through August 2019. The Toby Hanna, a Pennsylvania-based company, last month recalled Chef Toby pig ear treats sold nationwide after being contacted by the FDA. Separately, right here, right down the street from us, literally, Clearwater, Florida-based Brutus and Barnaby last Thursday recalled all size variation of its pig ears, 100% natural treats for dogs because of possible salmonella contamination. See, that's why I get them is because they're supposed to be 100% natural and they don't have ingredients in them, so that's not comforting at all. Nope. No, it's not. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, the warning, let's see here. I'm, I'm trying to find. Here, here's how people get sick. The warning extends to pig ear dog treats already in homes. The CDC warns that, quote, handling these treats could make people sick. Eating the trick treats makes the dog sick. Hopefully, the pet owners aren't eating them either. But if you handle them, it gets on your hands and you touch your face, your mouth, whatever, and then you get sick. That's how people are getting sick. Come back. I have two more. I, I don't even think I'll get to the uh, omnivore's dilemma, but there are two more recalls. Pig ears. Oh, I don't know. Humans. Want to get at the core issues that make weight loss so difficult? Try PGX from Natural Factors. This revolutionary product is clinically shown to help people achieve their ideal body weight in a safe, natural way. PGX helps you feel full for hours, dramatically reduces the glycemic index of any food or meal, and ultimately causes the release of the compounds that achieve two important goals in weight loss. One, telling your brain that you're satisfied so you eat less, and two, improving the action of the hormone insulin. As medical doctor Mark Hyman said in his best-selling book, Eat Fat, Get Thin, if you choose to use only one supplement, PGX is the most important. If you've ever tried to lose weight and failed, you need the tremendous support of PGX from Natural Factors. For more information on making your weight loss dream a near effortless reality, visit pgx.com. Have you experienced the wisdom of nature with Zyflamend Whole Body from New Chapter? Zyflamend is a tenor blend that delivers three health benefits. First, Zyflamend is an herbal approach to pain relief, helping to soothe minor pain or soreness. Second, Zyflamend is a joint supplement with time-tested herbs to support joint function and flexibility. And the third benefit, Zyflamend supports the body's healthy inflammation response, something that's essential for maintaining whole body health. Zyflamend is New Chapter's clinically tested blend of 10 remarkable herbs, including pure and potent, turmeric, ginger, and green tea. Zyflamend is non-GMO project verified, gluten-free, and 100% vegetarian. New Chapter is a leader in supplement quality. Every ingredient, every product, every time. Discover Zyflamen, New Chapter's number one selling multi-herbal. Zyflamen is made with ginger for occasional pain relief after exercise. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. The ever-increasing stress and toxicity we are exposed to from our environment, diets, and lifestyles make internal cleansing a necessary part of a good health regimen. Founded in 1980, Yerba Prima was the first company to launch a whole body internal cleansing kit. Since that time, they have continued to develop and manufacture a complete range of all natural, high quality fiber and internal cleansing products. By using all natural psyllium fiber and no harmful stimulant laxatives, all Yerba Prima fiber and internal cleansing products can be used over a long period of time to ensure optimal health and regularity. With nearly 30 years dedicated to all natural cleansing products, it's easy to see why Yerba Prima is a leader in the fiber and cleansing products category. Learn more at yerbaprima.com, Y-E-R-B-A-P-R-I-M-A.com, or visit your local health retailer. Yerba Prima, pioneer in internal cleansing products. 
Have you been putting off a cleanse? They can be harsh and leave you chained to the toilet, making for an overall unpleasant experience. Rethink your cleanse with Fluorescence, a daily cleanse that helps safely and gently detoxify your body. Unlike other detoxes that can be hard on the body, Fluorescence supports your body's natural processes, helping it to work more efficiently than it could on its own. The truth is your body is really good at cleansing, but due to the number of toxins we're exposed to, it can use a little daily support. Inspired by traditional Obijue formula, Fluorescence is made with eight herbs, burdock root, watercress, sheep sorrel herb, slippery elm, rhubarb root, kelp, blessed thistle, and red clover blossom. These herbs work together to support multiple elimination pathways, gently helping your body's detox systems do what they were made to do, only better. Forget harsh extreme cleanses and cleanse happy. Try Fluorescence for gentle daily cleansing that leaves you feeling rejuvenated. Find Fluorescence at your local health food store. For more information, visit florahealth.com. Feel tired, lethargic, or irritable? Take solace. You're one of millions of Americans that has trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. In fact, according to a national survey, 54% of adults have trouble sleeping. So what can you do about it? Take Solace. Solace is an all-natural dietary supplement formulated to support healthy sleep and relaxation. Solace can help you fall asleep and stay asleep naturally. Formulated with all natural ingredients, Solace is not addictive and won't leave you feeling groggy in the morning. Take Solace an hour before bed and feel the calming effects of this extensively researched sleep and relaxation aid. For more information on Solace, call toll-free 877-533-7066 or visit takesolace.com. That's 877-533-7066 or take solus.com look for solace in your local health and nutrition store solace for a good night's rest naturally let's talk nutrition is brought to you by cv sciences from seed to shelf Form Essentials, makers of the Sleep Aid Solace. North American Herb and Spice, wellness for life. Natural Factors, where great health begins. New Chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. <laughs> That's TMI, Katie. Uh, welcome back to the LTN. <laughs> Here's the LTN health question of the day. Simple, true, or false. You'll get this. True or false. Gingivitis is the earliest form of periodontal disease and occurs when plaque accumulates on the teeth near the gums. Is that true or false? Gingivitis is the earliest form of periodontal disease and it happens when plaque accumulates on the teeth near the gums. Here's a number to call to win a $25 supplement gift card. 877-897-8255. That's 877-897-TALK to win yourself a $25 supplement gift card. Here's uh, a second story on food safety. A California beef processing and packing company announced uh, yesterday a recall of a, about 25,000 pounds of beef uh, saying that it wasn't safe to eat. The American Beef Packers, Inc. of Chino, California, I know where Chino is, deemed the beef, unquote, unfit for human consumption, close quote. This is according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Food Safety, and Inspection Service. The, co the company said to the regulator, a carcass that was awaiting test results had been mistakenly put back into the production line. This goes on probably more than we realize, uh, where it pro was processed into a variety of products. Oh. By the way, with those CAFOs, concentrated feeding animal operations, where the cattle and the cows stand in their own manure, knee de uh, ankle deep, right, all day long, and then they take those animals and they take them to be slaughtered, there is fecal matter all over their hides, you know, manure on their hides, everywhere, and they're taken into the plant to be processed. Now, what do you think the odds are of that kind of condition of the animal creating a bacteria problem, an infection problem in the plant? 
Odds are very good. It goes on all the time. You've heard me talk about CAFOs. I'm going to talk about more about food safety uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, the item in question includes steaks such as boneless beef, chuck, sirloins, and ribeyes. They all have establishment numbers EST34741 inside the USDA mark of inspection. This is not unusual. I just share it with you to tell you that this goes on all day long, all the time. I could spend an hour every day just reporting on food safety issues. Yet another story, an outbreak of salmonella linked to what? Backyard poultry flocks has sickened more than 1,000 people in 49 states, according to the CDC. A CDC advisory said 235 cases have been reported since July 19th, and 175 people have been hospitalized. Two people have died in the outbreak, one in Ohio and one person in Texas. Nearly 200 of those sickened are under the age of five. You got these chickens in the backyard, okay? No, they're not cute. For me, they're not cute. That's just me. Now, some people may find them cute and you want your kids to play with them. No, they're annoying and I can't stand them. They run around town where I live. And Where you live, they're, you'll, you're going to mass on Sunday or church and you see the chickens coming across the street. You know, all the chicken jokes uh, where she lives. It's, cr- it's Quite often, I literally have to wait for the chicken to cross the road. <laughs> <laughs> Cut my mic off. I'm going. That's a, those are jokes. How many jokes about the chicken crossing the street? <laughs> <coughs> he says things in my ear and makes me laugh. Uh, <laughs> those sickened re- reported getting poultry from several sources, including farm stores, websites, and hatcheries. Six of the strains making people sick have been def- identified in samples from backyard poultry at homes in California, Minnesota, and Ohio, and from retail stores in Michigan and Oregon. I don't know. And by the way, don't kiss your cat. Read my article about, you know, how you can get sick from, from these different pathogenic bacteria that are on my website. And I think in the title of the article it says, Don't Kiss Your Cat. Carrie in Venice. Carrie, welcome to the show. Uh, how are you doing today? Just fine, thank you. Good. So, this statement periodontal disease is an inflammatory disease, also called gum, uh, you know, it's also called gum disease. And that, but, Gingivitis, though, here's the question. Gingivitis is the earliest form of periodontal disease, and it occurs when plaque accumulates on the teeth near the gums. Is that statement true or false? True. It's absolutely true, 100%. Congratulations. You want Thank a $25 you. supplement gift card. Do you go to the dentist often? Much. Do you go to the dentist often? Uh, oh, every six months. Okay. I go every three or four. Sometimes It oh. ends up being four times a year. I learned early what? on. I, yeah, I learned early on that, you know, during this show, you, you persuade yourself uh, that getting your teeth cleaned is really critical. Um, my mom was 93. She, I think she had all her teeth when, wow. she, when she died. That's impressive. Yeah, the dentist was always impressed with that. Mrs. Garko, you're 93 years old. You got all your teeth. So, but congratulations. Everything good in Venice? Yeah, everything's just fine. We caught a break from that hurricane, didn't we? Yeah, we were very relieved. I bet you were. I bet you were. Well, enjoy your weekend, and thank you for listening to the show today. Thank you. And you're welcome. All right, I didn't get to uh, the omnivore's dilemma. I will um, talk about that and this whole issue of food safety. It's going to be coming up more and more in the next few weeks. I'll, I'll focus on it. I think it, I, I was doing that for a while, and I moved away from it. I'm going to go back to it. Uh, inform you about food safety, some of the ins and outs, some of the various issues that surround it. You know, we're on this air uh, two hours a day. We're live. And when you, when you think about the, the thousands of, I don't know how many hours now it is, 5,000 hours of airtime, I don't know what it is, over the last 15 years. That's a lot of airtime, and we have a virtual library now of information. The audio files, you'll find them on the uh, Let's Talk Nutrition homepage under show schedule. You can download those. The videos, some are on the homepage of LTM, but the rest are on YouTube. There's a link that will take you there. 
and the titles for the show are there and the dates. And it is a virt literally a virtual library of information and insight from guests, from you, from myself, from everybody. We're all, you know, it's, it's an effort. It's a group effort here. We appreciate your listenership. We appreciate your viewership. Um, make your health a priority. Don't let it wane on you. Keep it at the top. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your health. And your health is your wealth. Everyone's raving about the newest botanical superstar hitting the store shelves nationwide. Hemp-derived cannabidiol, or CBD, has been receiving a lot of attention for its tremendous promise on human health. Plus, CBD Oil by CB Sciences is the trusted brand setting the standards in this newly emerging category 